This video on post-traumatic stress disorder is part of the McMaster Demystifying Medicine Seminar Series. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is a mental health condition that's triggered by a terrifying event, either experiencing it or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about the event. While combat veterans often suffer from PTSD, the condition is also experienced by victims of sexual assault, domestic violence, and childhood neglect and abuse. PTSD affects approximately 5% of the general population, but is far more common among women. With respect to different groups and demographics, teenagers aged 14 to 18 in foster care homes were found to have one of the highest rates of PTSD, and the rates are even higher for those that experience sexual or physical abuse. Urban youth populations are another group at risk of developing PTSD due to their socioeconomic instability as well as their potential for experiencing interpersonal violence. So what causes post-traumatic stress disorder? PTSD is caused by the experience of a traumatic event. These traumatic events can lead to an alteration in the brain's response to stress and can change the level of certain molecules in the brain, causing the previously described symptoms. Events such as these typically involve death or threatened death, actual or threatened injury, or sexual violence. Victims often feel intense fear, helplessness, or horror during the event. According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which is a publication often used to diagnose and classify mental illnesses, a variety of criteria must be met for a PTSD diagnosis. Some of these criteria include the presence of a traumatic event, rear experience of the traumatic event, for example through nightmares or flashbacks, and avoidance of stimuli related to the event. A lot of people think that flashbacks are just memories that you might remember, recall, you know, maybe see a picture, but really what it is is a re-experiencing of what happened. And so what will flash before my eyes is my uncle's presence there, you know, a big presence on top of me, and it's completely unrealistic, but the feelings that I have are exactly like I'm this small child, that he's there, that I have no control, that I can't protect myself. You know, and I was saying to myself, I know I feel this way, but I don't understand why, and that's the first time that I sought help. Just because you have PTSD does not mean that you're crazy. And in fact, somebody who's been diagnosed with something has stepped up and said, I have these issues, I want help for these issues, and it's actually very treatable. It is theorized that the depressive symptoms like those found in PTSD are caused by a shortage of serotonin activity in the brain. Serotonin is one type of chemical messenger used for communication among neurons or brain cells. The depression caused by PTSD can therefore be treated by pharmaceutical drugs such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs. These drugs prevent the reuptake of serotonin, thereby ensuring that it is sufficiently active. Another common treatment for PTSD is exposure therapy, which helps by decreasing stress and anxiety associated with trauma. This therapy works by repeatedly exposing the patient to the thoughts, feelings, and situations that caused the initial trauma, thereby helping them find closure and release symptoms associated with PTSD. So what now? It is important to recognize that PTSD can be a severely debilitating condition, especially given its intersectionality with anxiety, anger management issues, and depression. As a result, many sufferers of PTSD have trouble finding employment, experience social withdrawal and relationship problems, and often resort to self-harm or substance abuse if their condition is untreated or mismanaged. We hope that this presentation helps highlight the various facets of PTSD along with hypothesized causes and current treatment options. In general, please remember to keep an open mind about the severity of mental health disorders, be mindful of potential triggers, and remember to support and raise awareness about those afflicted by mental illness. For them, everyday life can be a battlefield. For more videos on a variety of health-related topics, please click follow and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page and visit our website at demystifyingmedicine.ca.